Hey, what's up, y'all? Thank you for tapping in with your friend. Over here where the red phone resides, it's your girl, Aries, and I'm here with my reaction to the season three Raisin Canaan trailer. Okay, this thing was so epic. I can't wait for December 1st, baby. I'm gonna be waiting on it like Christmas. Just gonna go over some things that stuck out to me. Shout out to everybody that was on the panel. The whole TVC was in the building last night. We reacted to this live. So check out my individual reaction. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. Ta-ra! Okay, so look, right off the top, first thing that I noticed is that my whole Thomas family is accounted for. I see Rock, I see Lulu, I see Marvy Marv, Kanan and Jukebox. That's the first thing in order. I feel like this season fans will be forced to choose a side between... Nah, we ain't forcing nothing over here. <laughs> look, let's not talk about force. Fans will come to that fork in the road where they will have to choose a side between rock and kanan starks because kanan has his foot on rock neck he even found out that his whole life has technically been a lie up until this point so he's trying to take control do his own thing and i dare a bitch to check me that's just how we come in kanan moving heavy in these streets and jukebox is trying to convince him look give your mama a second chance she's about to turn a new leaf i didn't see my dad make some improvements over the past couple months come on jukebox just gave marvin a second chance by letting him back into her life and also you know she just lost her mom in that shootout but that lady was evil that lady put juke through some mess so the fact that juke is sitting up here telling kanan look despite what your mom may have done it, it, it let me know that juke can probably have some type of forgiveness in her heart for her own mom now that she ain't here jukebox is trying to save kanan the pain of feeling that confliction of um you know like getting done wrong by somebody that you love and care about because she definitely for her to be sitting up here talking about her mom or anything, it just could not be me. This lady was trying to basically pray the gay away. She was actually trying to beat the gay away too. I mean, it was one thing when you was buying me clothes, but damn. I feel like Kanan will come around to rock later on down the line, maybe midway through the season when they link up and possibly need each other. But Rock seemed like she trying to get out the game from the talks and the looks of her and Kanan being at that table. Looks like she's telling them like, look, I done got shot and had to come to Jesus moment. Now look, I'm not saying that I'm about to be all straight laced, but I am trying to get my Walter White on because I'm tired of getting shot at. So Kana, what's it gonna be? You didn't wanna be in this game anyways. Cause we can see throughout the trailer, bits and pieces of confrontation between Rocky and, and Kanan. And it looks like she's really trying to convince him to let it go, Elsa. You didn't want no parts of this game in the first place, but I was pushing you up to it when really, I should have been doing what I'm doing now, trying to lead you away from the streets. But sometimes hindsight is 2020 and it ain't no guidebook when it comes to this parenting mess, son. I had it all wrong rocky you may have gotten that wrong with kanan but i'll tell you where you got it right because i was looking at the ring doorbell footage and i saw that today you had a visitor or should i say an old friend hey that's exactly what i was thinking when i seen um unique pull up to that dough you know looking rock up and down i was like hey 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 what's going on because i in my head that is my man but i'm gonna go ahead on and let them have this because it's real cute it's real cute and i'm here for it um yeah i just mm. I'm, I'm just very much so in awe because you know Rock is a hard nut to crack. <laughs> she is definitely not just here for all the mushy and the gushy. She don't really show no love and affection to nobody. Look, I guess it hit different when a man just go ahead on and save your life like that. I'm not even mad at Rock because we not only see Unique at the door, we see him all cozy like in the kitchen with Rock. They on their real Bonnie and Clyde type-ish when the Italians kick in the door waving a 4-4. Now this set of Italians have happen to belong to Stefano because that's exactly where they take Rock and it looks like Stefano is trying to twist Rock's arm into doing his dirty work. I'm thinking he wants her to take out Baselli and Rock is letting him know like look I'm actually tired of shooting my way out of things and Stefano got his nerve for calling on Miss Tootsie Roll herself. Yeah bro, I ain't forgot Noodle Man. Now one would think that Rock went on and took Stefano up on his offer because when we see the fire coming from that silencer I'm really thinking that she's catching another body with Baselli, but it kind of throws me off because we also see Baselli and his wife outside of front of a church i feel like this is maybe like a, a communion for a kid a christening or something like that and 
he's gonna get wet up right there quite possible so let me know what y'all think when it comes to the bodies that rock is possibly gonna catch this season let me know how you feeling about her and unique let me know how you feeling about her relationship with Kanan. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most for this season of Raising Kanan. I'm looking forward to the comments, y'all. Thank you for tapping into the red phone with your girl Aries once again. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.